Tennessee Algebra, uh, end of course, Algebra 1, practice test, question number 17. This question asks you to simplify the expression and state all restrictions in the domain. Now you should know that if a, a fraction has a zero in the bottom of it, it means that it's undefined or it won't work. Like I'll divide anything by zero. Doesn't work, right? It gives you an error because you're not allowed to divide by zero. If you could, then like serial killers would all get away because you could divide by you could divide things into zero parts, and then every time they you know did their did their duty, the body could be broken into zero parts, and we'd never find the parts. So, uh, in order to balance that out, nature and whatever has decided that you can't divide by zero. So when they say what are the restrictions on the domain, that means plug these values in as x on the bottom and see if you get zero. Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm going to skip straight to that part might make my life much easier. I'm going to put parentheses around the x's and just plug in the values, negative 7. Make sure that you're closing that uh, parentheses before you uh, put the square in. The parentheses are integral to getting this question right. See how it gives you 56 instead of 0? So this thing with negative 7 is out. So let's go down to the next one. You only have to worry about the bottom, too, because you can have uh, zero on top. You can break zero into as many parts as you want, which is a nice freedom. So that's not it. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? But this one also has negative three in it, so I'm going to try the seven in the place of the x's. That one also gives me zero. So I'm guessing it's C before I even do anything else. Now, if you're a calculator junkie, as long as your x isn't equal to zero, you can hit, uh, you can create uh, a fraction here. If you don't have a fraction button, just do parentheses. That's fine too. And then close the parentheses and just divide. And you'll get some weird number, poor. Uh, 0.461. You want to flip that into a fraction? You can six over thirteen, and then just do these down here. Um, x plus four divided by x minus three. It gives you two, so that's not the right answer. This one can't be it either, so it's got to be the x minus four thing. It's the only one left, and you get that same number again and change it to a fraction. So it's got to be this one. That's the only possible way you could do it. Now, if you're not a calculator junkie and you want to solve it the real way, or you have, you know, integrity, uh, you can factor out the top and the bottom. So I'm going to look, I'm going to rewrite it a little bit down here so it's a little bit easier to see. I don't know if you actually have it. You can get these uh, this practice test off the state website if you don't already have it there. Um, so I'm going to, the, this x squared is 1, so it's 1x squared, so I don't have to worry about it. This sign here tells me if the answer is going to be positive or negative, or the answer uh, when I factor it out. It tells me whether they're the same or different, I'm sorry. This plus means that they're going to be the same, so they're either both x plus or both x minus. This tells me that they're both going to be x minus, so my top is going to be x minus something, and x minus something else. Now, since they are the same, I'm going to look to add the factors of 28 to give me 17. 1 and 28, 2 and 14, uh, 4 and 7. Well, there's no situation where I can add 2 and 14 and get 11. It just doesn't happen. So the only one that's going to give it to me is um, 7 and 4. So I'm going to put 7 here and 4 here. On the bottom, I'm going to do uh, the same thing for this one, but this tells me, since it's a minus, that I'm going to get an x plus and an x minus. They're going to be different. When the factors are, uh, when these signs are different, these factors are subtracted of 21. So 1 and 21, 3 and 7. I'm looking for negative 4. 21 minus 1 does not give me negative 4. 7 minus 3 gives me positive 4, but I'm going to do 3 minus 7. That gives me that negative 4 I'm looking for. And I'm going to put the negative 7 here, or I'm just going to put the 7 here. It just has to be minus, so I need to make sure that I put that behind the minus. And I get this. Then I mark out anything that's uh, on the top and the bottom, because like 5 divided by 5 is 1. So x minus 7 divided by x minus 7 will give you 1 as well. So there's my answer as I predicted above. But you could have done most of it just by looking for restrictions in the domain. But that's number 17.